for 179 bucks, people. It's gonna be hard to beat this bag if you want a camera bag that looks good, feels good, and protects your gear. Now this is a stylish bag for under $200 with leather and canvas. Hey guys, this is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com. It's been a little while since I put up a video here on YouTube. I've been crazy busy. I've been visiting a family, my mother in Illinois, been traveling, uh, been doing other stuff. So it's been absolutely insane. But today I come back to you guys in the photo world with a brand new bag. Well, it's been out for a little while. I've had this thing for at least two months. A camera bag that is stylish, functional, built very well, and comes in at under $200. Now, you know you've seen me review bags on this, uh, on my website, on this channel, that go from anywhere between $50 all the way up to $600. Usually those bags that are $600 are the fancy, you know, the fancy styled bags that some, some men do not like. They think they look like purses. So some men like the style and fashion. So it all depends on what you like uh, in a camera bag. So today I want to show you guys the new Black Forest bags. And uh, here it is. This is the new Black Forest bags Vincent. Uh, BlackForestBags.com it comes in at $179 and you have canvas and leather and it looks like those nice three, four, five hundred dollar bags that you get from other manufacturers. So it's actually a beautiful, beautiful bag, um, especially for the money. Now I've seen better made bags, but they're, you know, fog bags, for example, uh, Wotencraft, for example. Those are, are some premium, premium bags. There's so many bag manufacturers. There's so many strap manufacturers. There's so many accessories in the photo world. Right now I'm filming this on a Sony A9 with a 28 millimeter F2 lens. And I have a little light set up behind it, which is the Ice Light 2. Now you guys probably know of the Ice Light. They've been around a long time. So I'm gonna hold this bag up and let you guys take a closer look. <laughs> hey, what do I have in here? So you have pockets here, you have a zipper pocket here to hold whatever you like and you have your compartments inside that are fully um, movable and adjustable and customizable to where you want to put them. You have a little system that flaps over the top when you close to avoid rain from getting in and so forth. And you have leather here. You have pockets on the side as we do with most bags. Um, this reminds me a little bit of a fancier and larger Ona Bowery bag. Um, actually, it's larger than a Bowery. Let's get this focus. That A9 focus with video is so nice. I've been using this for two months. I've traveled with it, flown with it three times, uh, and it still looks like brand new. I've had no issues with it. The strap here is very comfortable. Uh, again, for the price, for the money, it's going to be hard to beat something like this if you're going for a stylish bag. Now, if you want just pure function, you know, always check out Think Tank. But if you want style and fashion and nice, and you want your camera to be housed in a bag that will protect it while looking nice, do check out blackforestbags.com. But this is, let me adjust my camera here. But this is the Black Forest Bags Vincent. And I'm going to read a little bit from their website while I show off the bag with close-ups. The Vincent is a modern camera bag made for those who demand more in style, function, and ultimate protection for their gear. Crafted out of waxed cotton canvas and full grain leather, it is relatively light and compact. 
It has an open flap direct access that gives you space with a very high level of adaptability, a necessity for every traveler and photographer. Now, I have traveled with this bag extensively and it has had no issues, no rips, no tears, no problems, no aching my shoulder. It's held up very well through three flights going to various locations. This multi-pack provides easy access to your camera, padded compartments for up to two to three lenses, and space for a 13 inch laptop. So I have traveled with my Windows Surface Pro 3 and I've traveled with my MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, removing the bag's inserts turns the Vincent into a spacious travel or work bag and this is true, you can take out the whole inside and use it as a messenger bag. So what fits inside um, or detail side, bottom, front, and pack cell phone padding for extra protection, padded adjustable shoulder strap, front zipped pocket with micro SD CF card slots and accessories, two front open pockets and streamlined back pocket for travel items and side pockets for quick access. For 179 bucks, people, it's gonna be hard to beat this bag if you want a camera bag that looks good, feels good, and protects your gear. Now this is a stylish bag for under $200 with leather and canvas, $179. And actually I own two Black Forest bags now and I'm gonna give them my bang for the buck award because both of their bags that I have here, I've not seen anything comparable in that price range. Again, if you like the good looks and the fashion uh, of a bag. Some people could care less about that and if that's you, that's perfectly okay. There's plenty of bags out there that you can buy that are black and understated, but this bag from Black Forest and the other bag I have that I reviewed a while ago, they're beautiful bags for the money and you'd have to pay hundreds more from big names to get the same kind of bag. So I highly recommend this bag. If you're looking for under $200 and you want style, function, and protection, check out blackforestbags.com and check out this bag called the Vincent. It's like, I'm like losing my mind. Where is it? It's right here. The Vincent bag. This is in black. It also comes in like a nice green olive um, and I believe a tan. So, but this is the black and brown. Very nice bag uh, from Black Forest. Check it out and thank you for watching this video. I'm Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. Go to stevehuffphoto.com for news, reviews, daily inspirations, and all things photographic. Subscribe to this channel if you like my videos. There are more to come. Sometimes I take a little breaks, sometimes I go crazy, but it depends on what's out and what I like. If I like a product, check this out. This is my uh, ice light setup. Check this out. You can guide your light wherever you want it. Now, a lot ice light is not new. It's old, even the ice light V2. But you can see you have your controls here and it's set right now on four. You can go all the way up and adjust the intensity. Woo, it's blinding me, I better go down. You can go all the way down low, on and off switch, see what it does, see my face, whoop. So I love this light, I paid $3.99 for it. I did look at the generics and knockoffs and they all had some kind of issue that I did not like. So. I like this little ice light. I'll be using it more and more for not only my videos, but for if I'm out at night with a camera, I can pull out the ice light, get some cool lighting. So thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.